Hey guys, we're back. So uh, we got the second pack here situated um, and all put together. It was a piece of cake. It went easily twice as fast. I felt confident. I actually knew what I was doing. Uh, it just, it went simple. Just to recap real quick. So what we do is we've got our two packs here, essentially two 24 volt packs. Uh, if you're just coming onto this, you might want to back up a video or two and you can sort of see the progression where we're at. But Essentially what we do is we took our cells uh, and put them in these plastic holders. We put all the plastic holders together. I did one and a half wraps of this reinforced tape and, and that turned out to be perfect because I was able to get one and a half wraps on both sides. Uh, I suppose that does help with compression a little bit to keep the cells compressed, but it's mainly just to hold them together. We're gonna get to the compression part in a little bit. Um, we got the BMS wires. Uh, I'll put together here. They do sort of sit in these little trays here. I, I've noticed that when I manipulate the trays a little bit, sometimes they do want to pop out of there, but I mean, that's really not a big deal. It's just to keep them nice and, and hold them into place now. So um, so that went well. Uh, what we're going to do, I guess, before I go any further is just grab the meter here. And let's just check our voltages to make sure everything is good so we should have 24 yep so 26.07 volts on the first pack 2607 and then flip it around here our other pack 2606 perfect all right so we know we're put together well um, I haven't connected these two packs yet, but when they do connect, uh, they're going to go, you know, with this post to this post, and then we'll have a 48 volt pack. I'm just not doing that right now. It's just safer and it's easier to sort of manage uh, the packs as they sit like this. Uh, what I am going to do though is, I guess, just to sort of tidy things up here a bit, is I'm just going to add just a couple zip ties. I, I've got these sort of smaller zip ties that I've never really thought I'd use for anything, but I thought, you know, I think they'd work well here uh, just to tidy things up a bit. I suppose like uh, if you didn't have the super tiny zip ties, uh, like a, a wrap of electrical tape would probably do the same thing, but this really isn't needed. Uh, I, it's just kind of for me just to help keep things a little more tidy. Definitely don't want to snip my BMS wires. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do is just, just two. We need to go overkill here. We're not doing a beauty contest. Just to get them a little bit, a little bit nicer. All right. So next step, we've got these guys put together. Um, so what the plan is, is they give you these, uh, these powder coated steel bars. So here's where we're actually gonna have some more mechanical compression. So there's gonna be one bar going over each side of this and then two screws or two two bolts are going to screw into there and they give you these uh, nut heads or Phillips head screws and it comes with a lock washer and then a flat washer as well and then they're going to go into the front there's a couple let's see if I can back that up a bit here and here so two for each side and then once we put this in the case then we'll actually secure that to the case right there so that's what's going on it goes without saying that as we're doing this, we want to be mindful. Uh, this is powder coated steel and it's going to go over the top here in the middle. So two things. One, 
Uh, we would want to make sure that our BMS wires are all sort of in their little troughs here, um, just to be sure that we're not going to pinch anything. And then also, probably equally if not more important, make sure you don't short out on any terminals here. So I'm just going to pay a little extra attention as I'm going down. So as you can see, that just goes over the top in the center part here. I'm going to grab my Phillips head and then we'll get this all lined up here. And Actually, it's already right about there. Uh, it should note, though, that this is just a plastic, um, I guess I don't know what you'd call it, like a female receptacle for this screw head. So it's not, there's no like machining inside or there's, there's nothing uh, metal to grab onto these, so you're you're threading it as you go in. So it probably would be wise not to use a, a power drill for this. You probably end up stripping it out, and you know that wouldn't be ideal. So I'm not going to snug these down quite yet. I just want to get them on there. All right. So we just want to make sure that that. Lock washer gets flattened. Okay. Good. Grab the other one, the other side. Same deal. Pay attention to where we're coming down. Should do this side first. That'll be a little easier. Okay, perfect. All right. So same deal on this side. Snug it down quite yet. This guy around. Ah, looks like I got my tape just over the hole a little bit. There we go. It's just riveting stuff here, you guys, I know, but I hope if you're considering doing this, you're kind of seeing that it's really not a big deal. I think I mentioned it before, but Sepulos does, uh, when I was looking into getting their stuff, you know, they had sort of asked, what do you, which pack do you want? Do you want this one that I got where uh, you have to do most of the, or a portion of the assembly, or do you want a pre-assembled one? I didn't even ask for pricing on the fully assembled one because, like I said, I wanted to know what I was doing. But they do have uh, a fully assembled pack as well that you can purchase. So if this looks a little intimidating or you don't have anybody nearby that wants to help you with it, you know, that's certainly an option. All right. So we've got our bars here. Now we've got some mechanical compression. Um, then you get, let's just spin this around so we're back to home position. Okay, so then you got these plastic covers and it looks like they just use a little Velcro or something here to 
So these are just end cap or terminal top covers. You can see on this side they've got a little snap. A little snap. Okay, and they must just go together. Yep, just like that. So what I don't want to do though is I don't want to cover up the front or the back. Reason being is obviously in the back here I'm going to have this D2 connecting pack one to pack two and then in the front this is where I'm going to be connecting uh, I guess into the the BMS unit. So I, what I don't want to do is put those on quite yet. So on the sides of the case here if I flip it and see you can see these little um, tabs I guess and what we want to do is just make sure that we get that tab seated in there and this is going to protect the top of the terminal uh, just to make sure nothing metal were to fall on or touch that i do think i mean these are pretty sturdy i do think that probably will provide a little degree of compression as well and if you are familiar with lithium iron phosphate you know that compression uh, is in fact important so that snapped in and i mean that's that's solid that's a good solid feeling I can tell this is going to go quick. Okay. Yeah, th that's a nice firm, I'm sure you can hear it in the video, but nice firm positive feeling. Cool. All right. So there's that guy. Uh, you've seen the process now. I won't bore you with it but we're gonna be repeating the process for the second pack here. It's the exact same deal. We're gonna get our steel bars here, screw those in, being careful not to over tighten them. Uh, once we get that done, we'll put our plastic caps on and then we'll be good to go. So on the next video, what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna see this pack looking just like this guy and we're gonna go ahead and have the whole unit up here and we're gonna be setting them in the unit and then powering it on and making sure we got power and everything works. So that's the plan. If you have any comments, suggestions, criticisms, whatever, put them in the comments below. Uh, I will try to keep an eye on the comments and if there's like a question that keeps getting repeated, I'll do my best to answer those. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. You can follow me on this journey and uh, we can all learn from each other. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.